How's it going, everybody? Bob here, playing a horror game called Pyromaniac. Well, there's no start screen, but it says this. This is a demo that contains a little slice of chapter one. Please tell me how you feel about the game, and if you find any bugs, things will definitely change with the final release. There's no intro cutscene, and I don't want to reveal the plot. So just jump straight into the game. All right, let's just jump right in and see how it's gonna go. Huh. Well, I like the aesthetic. It's very pretty. But what am I doing here? Where am I? This place is kind of desolate looking. I have hands. I have pockets. I can sprint. I can jump. Can't open my inventory? No? Why you give me inventory if I can't open? Huh? All right, well, I have a gun. Wasn't expecting that. Cool. We got an axe. I could be an axe murderer. You son of a bitch. Ah, oh, there's no impact. I guess the weapons aren't finished yet. Ah, oh, I gotta make it so you leave impact hits. What else do I got? What? Got a pipe too. What else is there? Anything? Well, these are set to the most random keys I've ever seen. So, R is a pistol. Does it work? Wow, nice! Nice. Huh, that's actually a really, a really good model. Alright, we got pistol on R and axe on T. But why? A lighter and a pipe. So, there's gonna be a lot of dark places, I guess. All right, cool. So what is what's with this fucking place? I feel like I'm in like an abandoned city in Russia or something. I'm in like Siberia. I agree. There's so many cars around. I don't get it. What's with all the cars everywhere? But there's not a single person, huh? Abandoned. That's the way this place feels. Okay. Hey, what a nice character model. He's got his death metal hoodie, some thick ass sideburns. <laughs> this guy looks cool as shit, dude. That's a good character model. I like him. All right. What's this guy's name? He seems very cool. I'd hang out with this dude. The only thing is I like that hate I hate stamina bars. I really do. But if you're going to implement one, at least make it recharge a little bit quick. Okay, so I can't open this door. Tons of cars everywhere, but I don't think you can check them. Oh. Alright, that's a light. There's an apartment lit up up there. Alright, so what the fuck is this? Huh? What is this? Oh, it's like a dial-in thing for the apartments. Okay, true. How am I supposed to know which number to hit, huh? What? Hello? Oh, what the fuck? 13. Alright. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Why would there be knocking up there and they write 13? And why is it written in red? That's very suspicious, my friends. Like, uh... That might be blood. Or maybe... Oh, my. Huh? Hello? Why am I getting a feeling like something's behind me, or something's following me? Okay, so 13 it is. Open Sesame? Well, it's ringing. Get a little cutscene. This character model's really good, I like him. Alright, well they're buzzing me in. Very cool. Holy shit, it is dark in here. All right. Oh, hell no. The lighter needs like a bit more light, I swear. It's just so little. There's got to be a flashlight, right? Like if you're going to make everything this dark, we need a flashlight. A lighter won't cut it. But as of right now, all I got is a pistol and axe and a lighter and a pipe. That's it. All right, what's this? Look, the apartment should be a few floors up. Okay, so I need to go upstairs. You're not a fan of elevators. 
Why not? Big baby. There's. There's. No? Alright. This game does run really good and controls really good too. Kind of reminds me of that game. What's it called? Condemned Criminal Origins. Go around beating the shit out of like crazy cannibal homeless people. That game had some fun combat though. It was mostly melee, so maybe this is similar. The back entrance. Not necessary. What's with this plank? Well, fuck you too, plank. What about this? I don't need to go that way. What language is that? Present me. Am I in Russia? What's with this then? Is this. Oh! Thanks, bud! Give me a light, I like that. Or maybe I don't like that, actually. Oh, I hate when lights do that! Give me a damn headache! Oh, especially that noise. The noise of a flickering light is brutal. It almost reminds me of the sound of insects and bugs. Weird and I don't like it. What? 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 Place is dark yeah. though. A little bit spooky. One. Patro. I don't need to go this way. What the hell's Patro mean? Patio? What is this? The apartment should be a few floors up. Alright. Oh, that light. Driving me fucking nuts! But this is Patro too. Okay. I don't need to go this way. This who? No? All right, not this floor either. Oh, this light, dude. Chill. Okay, that door is open. I don't need to go that way. What the hell does that even say? What kind of graffiti is this? Can I go up even further? Nope. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Gonna maybe have to smack some people up. B Y T Y. And the setup of this apartment is so strange. I'm not used to this at all. Here's where this guy's from. Can I go check over here? I don't know. I don't think that's the right apartment. Well, I like that you put uh, the little reading on everything. That, that gives me that Resident Evil vibe where you can just pointlessly click on everything, get a little description. I kind of like that, man. More games need to do that. You just click on everything and just, there's a book sitting on this desk and it is dusty. <laughs> I know it's pointless, but it's very fun. I like those little immersive things. Alright. I'm in an apartment now. Ooh, get a little bit of that light artifact glitching going on there. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe you need to fix something there, dude. Oh, you should make it so you can turn the light switches on and off in the apartments. I always love that. It's locked. Getting a bad feeling about this place. What the hell happened here? That's what I was about to say. What the fuck is going on in here? What the fuck? What is happened? This? That blood? I don't know. Somebody get beat up in here? Was there a party in here? I can't tell if that's red. Like somebody shit or puked all over the floor. I don't know, dude. What else? I have a strange feeling from this door. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Whenever somebody says that, something bad's gonna happen. Well, all right, let's see. 13? Who put the 13 there, though? Huh? Who did it? Something's wrong. Yeah, something is wrong. What's going on? What the fuck is that? Help! <laughs> Potato head? <laughs> what happened to him? What the hell? That's a cool character model. Tell you that much. What? Did I die? What the hell happened here? Alright, you have to rip A and D so fast. That's cool though. I've never gotten one of those prompts before. Quick time event. That's super cool. Come on, let's get him out of here. Die, you son of a bitch! Yes! Alright, there we go. Chuck him out the window. Holy shit. Dude! What was that? Look at his face! He looks so scared! His eyes bulging out of his head. What was that? I couldn't tell you, dude. I should get out of here. What, what, what was that? 
it was like a zombie, but not quite. It looked mutated, potato head-ish. What were you doing in here? I want to know. What happened in here? You just want me to escape? What was the point of coming up here? Was I looking for somebody? All right, well, if any more of these potato heads show up, I'm going to smack them up. Oh, this light. Quit it, dude. What? That's not the same as it was. What? Hey. What the fuck? How dare you change the layout of the building? What the fuck, game? There's supposed to be stairs here. Now there's just an elevator? Oh no, I'm getting bad vibes here. I'm getting sucked into some other alternate dimension or something. That didn't feel like a, a monster, like a zombie or a mutant. That felt like paranormal, otherworldly. I don't know. I really have no idea so far. This developer is good at not leaking what the hell's going on here. Now what? Wait. Where am I? I'm just in a deep, dark cellar. Oh, you can light candles as a mechanic? Now that's pretty cool. What the fuck is going on? Where am I? Got sucked into hell. Oh, it just ends there? Ah, oh, dude. Thank you for making it. This is very solid for a little demo. You know what I think? That's very, very cool. Obviously, there's going to be combat. It's going to be very dark. I, the only thing I'd say is, uh, add a flashlight? You want to be unforgiving, add batteries. Because then the flashlight can die and then you're forced to use your little lighter. Walking around with no light. But hey, that's actually a solid little game. A fun little demo. Good sound effects. Solid level design. Everything was really cool. I enjoyed that. And I very much like that character model. That guy looks like he'd be stuck in an 80s slasher movie. Very cool. He's got big ass sideburns. Badass metalhead. Yeah, I like it. All around, very cool. I always leave the games in the description. Hey, go give these guys some love and some support. Go play their demo. I'm sure they're working hard on the full release. Maybe they'll release a bigger demo or a bigger slice of the game with some combat and we'll see how it's going. Yeah, I enjoyed this very much. Go give it a try. Play it in the dark with some loud headphones. I'm sure you'll have some fun. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more. Hey, test me. I read and reply to every single comment. So shoot me one, request a game, say hey, say what's up, anything you want to say. It really helps out with the forbidden YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching. As always, Bobby Wan here, and peace out. Move the master of the dark. White tea legend leaves his mama in the realm of horror. Seek prevails. No fear, nothing.